So now let's just start implementing the upload form. Now on the upload form, the first thing that we will do is basically the recorded video or the video which the user pick from his or her phone gallery. After coming here to the upload form, after receiving it here, we need to first display that video here. Just like you see in the TikTok, okay, on the upload form, you see that video which is playing auto that is automatically okay depict the recorded video or you can say the video which you want to upload so that video file we have to display here and it will be in auto loop you know like it will be playing so that you will know so that the user can know that is okay this is the video which I'm going to upload or which I have recorded or which I have picked from phone gallery so yeah first of all we will do that for that purpose go to pub.dev site and simply search for video underscore player and then this one which is video underscore player click on it and then click installing and then copy this dependency come back to the project go to the pubspec.yml file and simply add that here video player click on pub get so it has been added successfully as the exit code 0 so now let's just come back here to the upload form and now let's create an instance of the video player so we can say video player controller player controller and then above the widget build inside the built-in init stat we can just say we can actually initialize the player controller so we can say now player controller equals to video player controller dot file and the file is basically this file we want to play which is our video file so we can say widget dot video file we want to start playing this video so basically with the help of our video player controller we assign that video file to our this controller that is we initialize that then after that after the set set we can say player controller dot initialize player controller dot play player controller dot volume we want to make sure that it has volume okay so we can set the volume to 2 and then player controller dot set looping that is let's say if the user start playing okay and it finished then we want to play it again by default okay like it will be in auto mode just like you guys see in TikTok so we can say true make sure to add a null check with it like this it is set looping okay set volume set looping that is the autoplay is true and then of course on the built-in dispose function we can we have to make sure that we basically dispo, dis, di, dispose over this controller player controller which is basically our video player controller so we can say player controller dot dispose make sure to add a check with it so now we have to show that video player so what we can do is here we can scare say return scaffold widget we can add a scroll view as the video size lengthwise it can be long enough so we want to add a scrolling of course we will have some te input text field for getting song name and you know the song tags information from user so that's why the scroll view is good idea to add so that the user can scroll and it will not cause any design problem so anyways we can say child column widget children widget and we will display video player so we can set that size box 
with and let me tell you we will design the professional ui okay for it that is a responsive ui design so that it can adjust according to the screen size automatically for example the video the width for our this video player that is for the video will be according to the screen width size no matter whatever the screen size is it can be small it can be big whatever it is it will just adjust automatically according to that so we can say media query and we will tag the screen width so we can say dot off context dot size dot width so whatever the screen width is it will just tag that similarly for the height we will tag some percentage of it that is media query dot off dot size dot height we will tag the screen height and we will divide it divide it by 1.6 video player and we have to pass our player controller to it which basically holds the make sure to get another check which basically holds that video file as you can see so yeah we are ready to test make sure to close the debugging if the app is already in a running form okay and once you close that or you can even close the app from phone as well like this and then install the app again okay from the start as we have add the video player controller dependency in our this project so that's why if the app is already running make sure to close it by clicking on the debug okay and then install the app from the start so the app is installing now now let's just upload I'm going to quickly pick a video from the phone gallery so I choose this video and as you can see I hope you can hear the video is I mean the video sound as well as the video is playing I hope you can hear the voice of the video as well so yeah now what we need to do is you can see this size okay this is the video player size actually that is 1.6 what it means is if you want if you want you can uh, increase it for example let me tell you how it is working when we divide the height of it when we divide the height of it by 2 it simply means that it will take the half size of the screen like this as you can see half, half size above from here to here and half size below and when we say 1.6 then it will be little bit down now that is it will increase the size little bit here if you want to further increase it then you can give it like 1.4 okay like this it will be and let's say you can also increase it more like this okay 1.2 just like in TikTok so it is totally up to you guys okay whatever you guys like you can just set the size according to that I think 1.3 will be good enough okay like this this size is good enough so yeah this is all about our video player